Yo, everybody, my name is Jay Waz, and welcome back to Need for Speed World. Today, we're back in the Knight Rider server checking out the 400Z. The last video, we checked out this the Bugatti Bullide. And you know, I was a little iffy on saying, yes, it was worth 12 and a half million, but I have now proof that it's worth 12 and a half million. What the hell was on the side of that civilian? What the? What is that? Consultants? Is this supposed to be a business? Anyway, I do indeed have proof that this is worth 12 and a half million. This is the world loot. In the top four, is the Bugatti Bullied. Make it 13 minutes and six seconds. How they did it, I have no freaking clue. Number one, in time attack mode, is also the Bugatti Bullied. I don't know how they did it. I really don't. I'm assuming in normal mode, they used, you know, power-ups and such. But either or, that's enough to tell you that this car is indeed worth 12 and a half million. That being said, I gotta do what I always do before I start the review. I gotta do my gem hunt. I will be right back. This is a Nissan 400Z. And isn't it just <sighs> gorgeous? I think it's an absolutely beautiful car, and I absolutely love it. Much more than 370 and the 350C. Now, the 350C does hold a place in my heart because of its heritage, and, you know, when it first came out, it was such an iconic car. This is just much more of a beautiful car. We got an overall of 533 B-Class, top speed of 610, acceleration of 600, and handling of 390. Now, I don't expect it to do well too well in the corners. It might actually be better for team escapes, which it's about freaking time that you had a car that's better at team escapes. On the community page of my channel, I set up a poll for the next car in the Knight Rider server to be reviewed, and you guys voted for this. This week is going to be what I call a Japanese special, just as a tribute to my best friend Billy, who had passed away. And if you want to buy this car, it's going to set you back a whopping 510 thousand in-game cash and as always we gotta start it off in a lovely race called construction route ah oh, perfect launches garbage did i just hit that it's contact back it's it's no longer contact list damn it well that sucks but we're in the lead that was fast and actually you know what? The corner's a lot better than the number says that's weird i'm trying to bring you some useless information that i know about this car First and foremost, it is not called a 400Z. It is called the Nissan Z. That's it, just the Z. You can go on Wikipedia, you can go on their freaking website. You will see that it's just called the Z. And why people are calling it the 400Z? I understand why, actually. It starts with the 350Z. The 350Z was called the 350Z because it had a 3.5 liter V6. The 370Z was called that because it had a 3.7 liter V6. This just so happens to have a 4 liter V6. I'm gonna have to stop myself right there. I give you wrong information. It does not have a four liter. It has a three liter V6 twin turbo. The reason why people might have thought it was gonna be called the 400Z because it makes 400 horsepower. I gave you wrong information on the edge of displacement. I am sorry. Back to the video. Now the uh, 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 moving on. We're still in the lead. Wow, that is either the AI is driving terribly or I'm just doing that well. This car is supposed to be the refresh from the OG from back in the day. You know, the 240Z is actually inspired off of. Naturally, why wouldn't they ram my ass? They love ram my ass, don't they? <laughs> and wow, it actually did pretty well in this race. I wasn't expecting it to do that well. It destroyed the AI. But yeah, that back there on the back right there, how do you see that? Right right there, Fair Lady C. The 240Z back in the day was called the Nissan Fair Lady Z. For Datsun, it was called the 240Z. Now, I don't know if they changed names or shared the name or whatnot, but when you Google it, it's usually called the Fair Lady Z. The front end bears a striking resemblance to the uh, 240Z from back in the day. It, it looks so much like it. It's got the grill, got the headlights set up. Even the rear end looks similar to it. Although the rear end more reminds me of the 300ZX. Anyway, for racing, that surprised the hell out of me. Let's try it at Team Escapes, and it just so happens to be B-Class. Let's go. Compromise. Scoop! Oh, that guy didn't stand a chance. Hey, hey, don't take my kill. You bastard. Okay, it's not that heavy. Let me let me try to... Let me just try it right here. Yeah, it's not that heavy. Dude, okay, a corner is way better than the number says. It's really throwing me off. I expected this thing to be sliding all over the place. Okay, Rhinos, uh, so far, not so good. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very light. All right, we got to do the ultimate test, as always. How does it handle this roadblock up here? Okay, it's not so bad. That, 
was actually quite surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, this thing corners way too well to be used for team escapes, and that pisses me off so much. I miss reviewing team escape cars, damn it! I might use it for both in this video. Screw it! Wow, it flipped it. It did good! It killed the rhino! Rhino likes being rammed. Ah, not that one! <laughs> Okay, I like this car. All right, all right, all right. So it, it doesn't seem to be too bad for both races and team escapes. I'm actually excited to review this car. All right, let's go look at the aftermarket shop. I'm excited to see if there's any body kits for this car. Please be body kits, please be body kits, please be body kits. Please. Yes, we got two body kits. It's better than nothing. No, 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 why, 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 why? That looks horrendous. It looks like we went back in time with that body kit. Jesus Christ, I don't... Uh, no! Okay, that one is very simple. It literally only adds canards in the front splitter. But, I like it. We're installing it. Looks like we only got one custom spoiler. Is that right? Yeah, that goes with the car. Yeah, yeah that actually goes with the car quite nicely. I'm doing that. Hoods. We got two hoods. We got the... Ah, I'm gonna stick with this one. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Let's see if there's anything that looks good down here. Oh, God, what the hell? Why, why is it that color? That is horrendous. Ooh, some rotiforms do not look good on this car. These rotiforms do. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm doing that. Black tit, you know we gotta do it. Stage 3 lower kit, absolute requirement. Yep, yep, that fits the car very well. I'm definitely doing that. All right, as for the aftermarket shop, it's slightly limited. Honestly, slightly, because compared to the Belide, this is amazing. It looks so good lower with that canards and the front splitter. And that wing is perfect for this car. I really like the paint, but I almost want to change... <laughs> Strangely enough, that actually looks pretty good on this car. Ooh, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. That looks good. And the wheels, for the love of God, change the wheels. Why that color? That is so horrendous. There we go. That looks much better. There's nothing in the vinyl shop, but I can't help but to do one thing. Hold on. I had to do it. I don't know why I had to do it, but I had to do it. Let's paint it black. Yeah, that looks much better. I don't know. I, I just had to do it. All right, I'm going to tune this thing up to the top B class. I'll be right back. Well, that didn't take very long. I got one part installed. It's handily focused part. I'm probably going to be separating these parts like crazy with this car. I want to see how well I could balance it as much as I can. We're not going to overall a 599, top speed of 668, acceleration at 673, and handling at 457. Acceleration got the most gain. I actually don't understand why, but it, it's cool. It's now above top speed and handling got a 67 gain, which is the second most out of the three. Top speed got the least, which is fine by me. As for the skill workshop, I've got nothing yet. Hold on. So in the skill workshop, I decided to try to do a setup for both racing and team escape. Yes, I'm actually going to do both throughout the video. Perfect start duration of 5 seconds. We maxed that out. We put 20% on perfect start RPMs. 24% on race cash. 40% on collision force. We increased the force of Juggernaut by 20%. And last but not least, we put pursuit cash by 24%. So it's going to be, it's like middle of each, you know, because I can't do both on full force on both would like I wish I could but that's the best I could do for now the last but not least I gotta go back in the aftermarket shop and install heavy mess boom good it. Dude, I think it's gonna do awesome in racing I actually quite looking forward to it that handling went up better than I thought it would uh, I think it's actually not bad for B class I mean it could be better but it's really not that bad I mean it's not good okay it's not great I Perfect Launcher's ass. It's seriously not one of the, it's probably one of the worst uh, Perfect Launchers I've ever seen. The nitrous power in this car is not very powerful stock. You want to see it boost, you're definitely going to have to add nitrous power in a skill workshop. That's not happening. And it, wow, that was close. And it handles much better than it did stock. Way better. Top of B class, it feels very nice so far. Yep, yep, I like it a lot. B class racing, it feels beautiful. Not great Perfect Launch at all, but I love it. The way it feels around the corners is quite nice. Although, I wish I could change the color of the calibers. I just noticed they're yellow. Whoa, we got some air, boy! All right, let's do compromised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and bing! Oh, yeah. Dude, that feels way better. Oh, man! Dude, the chargers don't even slow it down that much. That's awesome. The cornering is allowing us to dodge the cops quite nicely. How does it... Okay, I was not expecting it to hit the rhinos that well. That's doing way better. And like, it's definitely, definitely not the best team escape car, but just the way it corners, the way it drives, and the fact that it doesn't really slow down too much, it makes it fun for team escapes. Oh, oh my god! Yep, this is awesome. 
This is so awesome. Those rhinos are taking a beat today. <laughs> they can plow up the air. Uh, bing, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I still this oh, no, 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 no. Evade! <laughs> Screw all you guys! Damn, they really returned to plow, didn't they? Not only did they plow me in the face, they plowed me up the rear! Holy crap! Why did I do that? That 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 that, that was stupid! That was stupid! That was stupid! That was Oh my god, cops everywhere! Go, 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 go! Oh my god, I'm like, ah oh, no! That is definitely not the car's fault. <laughs> that is for my own stupidity. Oh, what the shit? I spawned on top of him! He died! Thanks for your sacrifice, good sir! Hey, yo! Dude, they did so much better than I anticipated. I got busted, but you saw what happened. That's definitely my fault. That was so stupid. This is such a well-balanced car so far. I'm definitely good. Wait, wait, can't wait to see how it does in A-Class. Alright, now we're at the top of A-Class. We got an overall of 699, top speed of 764, Acceleration of 798 and handling of 535. The parts are added were Stick, Motorsport, and Elite Series, Forced Induction, Trans Stick, Ultra Series, Ultra Transmission. It's got 131317. 13, it's a more balanced part. Getting to the top of A Class, the one thing that got the most boost is acceleration, but that's no surprise since I put a acceleration turbo on it. One finally close behind is top speed, and after that is handling. Handling got the least amount of game here, but that's okay. I put parts on here that's not going to focus primarily on handling. Let's see how we do in A-Class. <laughs> now, if you're wondering why I keep doing the same races over and over again, because I need to get the feel of it and how it performs in the same race with each class that we go. If it performs better, then we know it's doing better. You, you get how it works, right? Jesus Christ, that acceleration is significantly better. Well, it's the top A class. What am I expecting? Handling still feels fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, that one was on me. Dude, holy crap. Damn you, Van! Soccer moms, I swear to Jesus. Dude, oh my god, it corners so nicely. Like, you really wanna expect that from a handling number like that. But it does slide a little bit, but dude. It's a controlled slide, if that makes sense. It's almost like it's drifting. Dude. A class race? This thing feels phenomenal! It got a 1 minute 1! That's insane! Oh my god, dude, how's this gonna do tuned up? Oh, this is gonna be an insane race car. Late departure! Time to do ya! <laughs> wow, wow, I am very close to that guy. Personal space! Bye! And bing! Dude! <laughs> okay, we're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong- No! Oh, that's fine, whatever. Oh my god! This thing can hit A class. A perfect, perfect! Okay, that was a bad angle, but it did not do that bad. All right, it's 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 doing good for chargers, but everything else, it's experiencing a massive slowdown in A class. Yeah, chargers are nothing. Chargers are extremely light to this car. Definitely good for chargers. Ah, not at that angle though. Oh, hi, B bye. I was not expecting that guy to just sneak up on me like that. No, it's not good for jump. Jesus Christ, that was brutal. Yeah, okay, it's really not that good for rhinos. We get a 50 mile per hour slowdown for rhinos, which is much better than the belied, but A class team escape, it's proven to be a little more difficult than it is in B class. Oh my God, Jesus. Flip, flip, flip. Oh my God, I flipped shit, bro. Oh, thank you for destroying that taxi. I appreciate that. What do you... What the hell are you guys doing? What drugs are you on? All right, so for A class team escape, I definitely would not recommend. Moving on to the next class. All right, turns out the max is an indeed S1 class. We got an overall of 788, top speed of 832, acceleration of 883, and handling of 649. Handling actually got the most gain out of here, but that's not surprising considering suspension and brakes are tier elite series, so those are primarily focused on handling. The tires have a quartz speed package is elite series, which is a more balanced part towards top speed and acceleration with a little bit towards handling. I replaced the transmission with the quartz speed packages and I replaced the engine with a tier elite series engine. Dude, I think this thing is going to absolutely destroy in races and I am definitely here for that. Alright, let's see what kind of time we can get. It gets structure route. Real quick, I, I want to see what time it gets a structure route, then I'm going to give it a shot in world loop. Jesus, yeah, it is much better. Perfect launch. Wow, I almost hit that car. Excuse me. 
dude, oh my god, I'm surprised at how well this car handles. It blows my mind. Like, it should not be handling this well, but it is, and I freaking love it. No freaking, we got less than, a, we got 57 seconds time. If you really wanted to give it a shot and try harder, you can definitely get a better time than that. I am mind blown by how well I did at time. I wonder where that is on the leaderboard. Okay, it's not a top 100, but uh, I'm sure if we filter by car, we can get an answer on that. I'm number seven on the leaderboard. Best time somebody got was 54 seconds with this car. You know how ridiculous that is? I can't even imagine getting 54 seconds. What about time attack mode? The 400C, somebody managed to get 56 seconds on time attack mode. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely do not underestimate this car. This car is way better than I thought it'd be. Even for the class, that's impressive. Let's see what kind of time we get in world loop. I really want to know now. When we did this with the blind, I got a 14 minutes and 22 seconds. I missed perfect launch, damn it. That's gonna ruin it a little bit. Maybe if I don't crash, we'll be all right. But anyway, I'll see you guys at the end of this race. I want to see if I can even beat 14 minutes and 22 seconds. I'll be right back. Oh, all right, so it's not nearly as fast to belide, but it's still pretty quick. We get that done with 15 minutes and two seconds. That's a really good time, all things considered. And without nitrous, we managed to hit 229 miles an hour. There was a couple instances during the race where, uh, as you can see here, I hit a jump and it almost cost me the race. So this car does not like jumping. I didn't even give you so much of it as, as a reaction from that. Just look at that. And then there was one moment while I was turning where I, at the back tire slipped up to the curb and I it tried to spin out on me, but then again, I did hit something. And just look at that face. I'm just concentrating so freaking hard. All things is here. This car handles very, very well for what the handling number says, which is 649. It even feels better than the Jaguar F-Type SVR, which I did not think I would be saying. So the Jaguar F-Type SVR had an overall handling of 666. What a great number, right? But then again, the Jaguar is definitely better for drag racing. The acceleration, I think, was absolutely absurd. But as for top speed with nitrous, let's go find out, shall we? With nitrous, we top out at 249 miles an hour. That's awesome. That's way better than I thought it'd be. 229 is already fast enough, especially for its class. It's not even at the top of S1 class. That's awesome. This car is incredible. It is way better than I was expecting to come into. Like, I thought this would, hands down, probably be better suited for Team Escapes, but I was definitely wrong. And I'm not even going to bother trying it in lines and state. So, for 510000 in game cash, this car is, hands down, well worth the money. In B class, it feels fantastic in racing and Team Escapes. In A class, it's definitely better suited for racing than it is Team Escapes. It feels much lighter in uh, late departure A class Team Escape than it should. And as for top class, which is S1 class, this thing feels so much better for racing than I thought it would be. Is it a top tier racer? Hell no. But that's not why I love it. I think it's so much fun to drive and it handles better than you think it would, but it's definitely not going to break any records. It is such a fun car to drive. I freaking love this car. I'm waiting for the day where I'm going to find a car where I absolutely hate it. Not including the... Once again, I'm not saying the name of that car. But anyhow, that is all the time I got for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Crash the like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my videos. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Deuces! Oh,